we're gonna talk about a playing a simple country train beat. Now, the thing that a lot of people don't know is that uh, country music is actually a, a very um, rich in heritage uh, musical song, uh, song form. And it's one that I really do like. Um, I'm not a huge fan of bro country these days. Uh, but I do like the old country and um, the songs that tell a story. And so to go along with that, you have some drumming that really complements the song. And the train beat is often misunderstood as just a very simple beat. And it is simplistic in many ways. But being able to, to hold the right feel uh, for a country train beat is hard. And there are several different stickings you can do for it. I'm just gonna go over one very basic sticking because I've had a lot of requests from you all to break down a country train beat. Uh, and so I'm just gonna go over a very basic one, but just know that to nail the style stylistically, all, all too often we look at it and go, oh, it's just eight notes on the snare drum, exit two and four, one, three on the kick drum. That's, that's you know, they're like, okay, got it. And we file it away. It wasn't until I moved to Nashville that I really understood Oh wow! Like that's they're they're <laughs> they're 15 levels deeper than I am with that pattern, and so I really started to dig into it. So uh, if you want a really good example of this from a more modern song, you can look at uh, Brad Paisley's song "The World," and um, I've actually got a, a full song breakdown uh, of that in my members area on the website. So we're gonna look at a very basic uh, country train beat, and we're gonna count out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the basic pattern is eighth notes on the snare, one and two and three and four and one and three on the kick drum. So really, really simple uh, in what the pattern is. Three and four and. Now, if you want the sheet music for this, uh, I've actually got the entire uh, song for Brad Paisley's The World available as a download below this. You can go check that out, see what he does uh, throughout that entire song. Ben Caesar is his drummer. He's a really uh, great local drummer. So when we speed that up, uh, we get uh, something that sounds like this. Again, it sounds like a very continuous train type of emotion. One, two, one. Conceptually, not a very hard groove. There are a ton of different ways to play that, whether you listen to old Johnny Cash, you listen to some Ricky Skaggs, or there's a lot of different ways to play, a lot of different stickings that you can achieve that with that all have different feels. But that's gonna be the basic uh, breakdown of that, of that beat. Now, uh, the place that I see a lot of students having problems when they're learning the train uh, beat is whenever it comes to drum fills. They try to put a drum fill that works with They try to put that into and it just doesn't work, all right? To put, if you're playing, you know, uh, a Johnny Cash song, you're putting a bunch of toms in there with a bunch, like that didn't happen in those songs, right? The drum fills need to be stylistically correct. So we need to understand stylistically what they do for a drum fill. So an example of something that I might do for a drum fill in this would be one, two, one, two. I did three different fills in there and spaced them out. And obviously you're not gonna be doing that many fills and that it's, it's a very simplistic song form. And the whole point is to support the music. We're playing a song. We're not playing the drums. We're playing a song. The point of the drums is to support music, especially in a lyrical song form like country music where they're telling a story. Go listen to that song by Brad Paisley. What is the story that he's telling? And how are you getting in the way whenever you're trying to overplay within that style? Okay, so we really want to focus on the simplicity, but 
it's it's a masked simplicity. What it is is getting the feel and the groove is very very hard. And I've seen guys move in from out of town and they think they can jump on a gig and they know how to play a train beat and you got the whole band turning around like what are you doing? You need to go home. You need to listen. You need to practice because that doesn't feel correct. Okay, so it's 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 the nuances of the playing. And then the third thing would be uh, whenever it comes to the different types of drum fills within that style, you always want to play drum fills stylistically correct. So that's going to be a basic train groove. Again, you can download the full sheet music to this song, Brad Paisley's The World, below this. Um, I'll put that in a pinned comment as well as a video description. If you haven't yet, uh, please do uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos coming every week. Hit that notifications bell and that way you'll know whenever those are uploaded. Leave me a comment, hit the thumbs up button if it's helped you and share it with somebody that you think it may also help. And if you ever need help in, in seeing um, um, regular and, uh, uh, and, and daily uh, uh, success in your practice time, I'm stuck all my words here. But check out the Drum Better Daily program over at stevensdrumshed.com. I think that it will help you in a big way.